Hi friends, today we have with us Dr. Vijay Kumar Maladi. Dr. Maladi is a practicing laparoscopic surgeon with 11 years of experience in general surgery and 8 years of experience in laparoscopic surgery. He is currently practicing in Navi Mumbai. He received his formal training in laparoscopic surgery from Dr. C. Palanivelu at GEM Hospital, Coimbatore and has also been actively involved in training fellow surgeons. He is a founder member of the Association of Minimal Access Surgeons of India and regularly conducts awareness programs for general public on laparoscopic surgery and diseases like hernia and piles. Since laparoscopic surgery offers the advantage of faster recovery and shorter hospital stay, Dr. Maladi believes that this advantage offers early resumption of daily activities and early return to work. His mantra about laparoscopic surgery is return to life quickly. Dr. Hi. Maladi, welcome to the show. Thank you. So, doctor, tell us, what is laparoscopic surgery and how is it different than other traditional surgeries? Laparoscopic surgery is a latest technique of performing a surgery. Hmm. It's just different because of the way of doing it. Okay. In an open surgery, if you have to do a surgery for, for example, the most common is being an appendixectomy or a gallbladder removal surgery, then you have to cut open the abdomen. Hmm. When you talk of laparoscopic surgery, you talk of not cutting open the abdomen in entirety, but making puncture holes. So these holes are about half to one centimeter. And that's the way the whole surgery is performed. The end result remains the same, but because the incision, the cut on the abdomen is small, that's why it gives so much of advantage to the patient. So doctor, what kind of surgeries can be done by this technique? When you talk of laparoscopic surgery, these techniques are essentially employed for surgeries to the abdomen. So you would have surgeries for the gastrointestinal tract, like I said, the most commonest being for an appendix or a gallbladder. You would have surgeries for the urological system, that could be for the kidney or the ureter or the urinary bladder. You could have uh, surgeries for uh, the hepatobiliary system, which could include the liver. You could also have surgeries for the spleen. So different organs all inside the abdomen. These are uh, diseases wherein you can offer laparoscopic surgery. Can laparoscopic surgeries be performed on just about anyone or do you have to choose a candidate? Uh, the some of the basic criteria to do a laparoscopic surgery. The patient has to be fit for a general anesthesia. Mm. Unfortunately, in an open surgery where you can do a surgery even under local anesthesia or a spinal anesthesia, for laparoscopic surgery, the patient has to be fit to undergo general anesthesia. And the other most important, uh, what we say as a contraindication for general anesthesia and laparoscopic surgery specifically, is that patient should not have any bleeding disorder. So these are the two main indications. There are a lot of relative contraindications wherein you cannot perform laparoscopic surgery, but these two are the main in contraindications. The other things are, there are certain conditions where patients may be offered laparoscopic surgery, but these are patients who are in the ICU who cannot be shifted into the operation theater. But using this technique, you can do a bedside procedure and it, is, it gives a lot of information in patients who are critical in the ICU. So then, uh, does the post surgery care differ from a normal surgery and a laparoscopic surgery? I think it is definitely a lot of difference and the reason why laparoscopic surgery is so much popular now because the incision, the cut on the abdomen is small. So most often than not, these cuts are sutured by scarless stitches and uh, this offers the patient to get back to even his daily normal activities much, much earlier. The pain related to the surgery is also less. And uh, the third thing is the cosmetic part is also definitely less. Laparoscopic surgery sounds like magic, but are there any risks that people should know before opting for a laparoscopic surgery? For the laparoscopic surgery to be performed, the patient has to undergo general anesthesia. So the most important thing is the patient has to be fit. So a patient who is fit to undergo a general anesthesia can undergo a laparoscopic surgery. The other thing is when you are offering a laparoscopic surgery, the technique of the laparoscopic surgery, the way wherein you put in gas inside the abdomen to bloat the abdomen to do the surgery, this is one thing. Then the indication, the reason why you are doing laparoscopic surgery, all these have to be discussed with the patient depending on the disease for which you are offering laparoscopic surgery. And that's what is most important before opting for a laparoscopic surgery in any patient for that matter. So are there any kind of risks involved in laparoscopic surgery? Yes. Uh, Depending at every level of the laparoscopic surgery being performed, the different steps, the first being the anesthesia part, 
when you're undergoing a laparoscopic surgery, you're putting in gas in the ab abdomen. That's basically carbon dioxide. In a patient who undergoes a laparoscopic surgery, this gas over a period of time tends to get absorbed into the bloodstream and has to be excreted through the lungs. If it doesn't get absorbed or the blood carbon dioxide levels go up, then there are changes that happen in the patient which have to be monitored very closely. So most of these patients have to be closely monitored when you're undergoing a laparoscopic surgery and that's the anesthetist part. As far as the surgical risks are concerned, the first thing where the laparoscopy starts is that you have to go inside the abdomen. So to go inside the abdomen, you have to make a small cut. So either you put in a small needle or you put in a, uh, an instrument called as a trocar to put in gas. Now these two are critical to enter the abdomen, to put in gas and then bloat the abdomen. So wherein more cuts can be made and then you can actually go inside and start performing the surgery. So what is called as access means entering the abdomen. These steps are also do carry some risks because you have intestines below and there is a risk to injure these intestines. You could injure the blood vessels. The other thing is the technique of performing laparoscopic surgery. Because you handle the organs inside, you have to use current. So there is a possibility that the current could be conducted to an adjacent organ and you could cause an injury. So these are some of the risks particularly about a particular organ when you are doing and that has to be discussed with the patient before you offer him the surgery. So most often than not after deciding that you have to offer a laparoscopic surgery to a patient, you discuss with them how it is going to be done, what are the risks involved and what are the adjacent organs which could be injured and all this is told to the patient before you plan the surgery. Found our information useful? If you found that the video has helped you, please like. Tell us what you think about our videos. Please leave a comment. To watch our other videos, click here. For more such information related to your health, log on to health.india.com.